Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. If you are new, welcome. My name is Hannah and in today's video we are doing home goods best of for the month of November. So if this is something you're interested in watching, please just keep on watching. And if you aren't already following me on Instagram, I would love to have you over at Hannah Naylor. Without further ado, let's get into this video. All right, so every single month I head to Home Goods to scout out the best products that I can find. There is no rhyme or reason for what I choose. I do textiles, home decor, uh, kitchen, anything that I gravitate towards, I put within this video. I go to multiple locations throughout the entire month to then put together this video for you guys. Now within this video, it's a little bit different than what we are used to doing. Typically I will showcase the best product, whereas this video I'm kind of doing a plethora of different things. I'm not only showing some home decor items that I found while I was shopping, I also feature some really cool and fun gift ideas if you are starting to shop for the holidays, just things to be on the lookout for. And then I also showcase a couple of other Christmas items that I saw when I was in store. Now there are two things that I show within my video that you should be aware of. I showcase one, the price of the item, and then two, I showcase the style number. The importance of this style number is that every item has a style number. Now, if you see something in my video that you want to see if your local home goods has, all you have to do is write down that number and give your local home goods a phone call to see if they have that item in stock. All inventory is different between each home goods location. This style number is just going to let you know whether or not your location has this particular item in stock because of inventory being so different between each location. So those are the two important things that you should be on the lookout within each video. But I hope you guys enjoy the month of November. And without further ado, let's get into this. We video. are heading back to home goods to see what is in store for the month of November. Now I couldn't help myself I did walk over to the Christmas decor department just to see what they had and this was one item that really stood out to me I could see this in someone that had a really modern type home unfortunately it didn't have a style number but it was made out of green marble these are super popular for Christmas this year this one was priced at $20 I loved the green and I loved the fluting exterior of it these reindeers are extremely popular. They make the best little coffee table topper or add them on any sideboard for an extra holiday decor item. There were a few home decor related items that I wanted to touch on as I was filming this month of November. This was one item that I thought was so cool. It was just a big strand of wooden beads. It was priced at $40. Definitely reminds me of something we've seen at Pottery Barn. Now the next few items are going to be gift idea items. I think coffee table books are such a simple and inexpensive thing to gift to someone for the holidays. I think what makes it even more special is if you find a topic or a book that that person really loves, maybe they're into cooking, maybe they're into home decor, finding a book that will make sense with their home and what they're into is even that much better. Now when you are giving candles to someone, my recommendation is to find candles that are neutral. These were just a handful of candles that I thought would be really great to gift to someone because they don't have a lot going on on the exterior, they're very neutral in packaging, and honestly I would definitely recommend finding a scent that would be something that they can burn after the holidays because after the holidays people are probably going to be resetting their home and burning scents that don't scream Christmas, so definitely steer clear of maybe those more holiday scents and getting a candle that is a little bit more neutral. Now, if you have that person in your life that really loves having a glass of wine or maybe a cocktail, Home Goods has some really inexpensive items for the bar lover. They have wine toppers, wine bottle openers. I even came across some really fun glasses and ice molds. My suggestion would be to put together a gift basket with maybe some of these accessories, maybe their favorite bottle of alcohol and wrap it up really beautiful. And it's going to make that person feel like you really took the time to put something together for them.
Now my love language is gift giving and one thing I do frequently during the holiday season for gifts is I love taking picture frames and framing photographs for either family members or my close friends. I think this is such a not only inexpensive thing to do for the holiday season but it brings that personalization and personal touch for a gift. I think it just shows that you took the time to do something special and it's going to be something that is going to live in that person's home for forever. So these were just some samples of frames. I thought to be on the hunt for, keep it neutral and keep it something that can go with any home decor style. And that is it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed coming along for best stuff for the month of November for home goods. Hopefully you got some gift ideas for gift giving this year and hopefully you spotted some things that you might be on the hunt for the next time you go to your local home goods. But until next time, I love you guys so much. Thank you for being here and we'll see you then. Peace.